We've had some questions about how MeshUp can be used to manually register and stitch together scans that come from the Fuel 3D scanner. So what I want to do today is walk you through that workflow, what that looks like, because it is possible with MeshUp. If you've been on the Kickstarter campaign recently for Fuel 3D, you've noticed we added a really interesting stretch goal. If we can reach a total of 350 units of the bundled incentive with MeshUp together with the Fuel 3D scanner, Euphormia will be able to commit to delivering a special version of MeshUp for the Fuel 3D scanner that will allow for automatic registration and stitching. But while we wait for that goal to be achieved, let me show you how to manually use MeshUp to register and stitch together your scans. So we're going to be using the Greek head and I am we're just going to be stitching together three of the images So these scans are exactly as, um, as you'll receive from your Fuel 3D scanner, so they just now need to be rotated and um, aligned. I'm going to use this middle scan as the stationary scan that will, I will align the other two scans to meet. So you can understand that the process is pretty simple. It is just a matter of moving and rotating the scans until you get them approximately into place. And I won't lie, this is a bit time consuming and you must be very patient, but it's possible to do. So just keep tweaking. Yeah. and rotating like this until we get the scans positioned as we want. Okay, and there we are. I have done a pretty good job of aligning the scans. It's not 100% perfect, um, and especially for a model like this where the original scans that I was using did not follow feature lines. If you're ever working with a scan of this complexity and manually stitching it together, you want to first pay attention to how you crop it in the Fuel 3D software. So if I were going to do this scan again, I would crop along these edges like here along the hairline where it meets the face or here where the uh, at the edge of the nose and up to the eye. So any feature set that points in will be much easier to work with stitching in MeshUp software. So focus on that if you're doing manual stitching. But what I have here is pretty good. And um, let's go ahead and union it together. And then I'm going to use Blend Union to soften those seams. In order to do an operation like Blend Union, I need to make sure that all my objects are volumes. So I have three choices with volumes. I have envelope, shell, and volume. Now, in this instance, either envelope or shell would work. Um, and I've played with this a bit and I know from what I've done that the, uh, I like envelopes results better for this particular scan. So this is something you're just gonna be playing with a bit to see what works best for you. And the next side. And the final piece. Great. So now I need to work with union. Um, blend union is an expensive operation. It's computationally intensive. So wherever possible, you want to minimize the amount of times that you're doing a blend union. And I can do that today by taking the two sides and unioning them together without a blend. So I selected both objects, choose zero for the amount of blend. So now let's apply the blend union. So select the front of the face and select the sides, which are now seen as one. And let's put one for the amount of blend. All right, it is done. So it isn't perfect, 
you can see here the seam is still visible. I and mean, that's probably because it wasn't knitted closely together enough. But outside of that, uh, the results are quite good. So there you have it, manual stitching in mesh up. It's not an easy task, but as you can see here, especially if you pay attention to how you scan and crop your images, and you have some patience to align the images just right, it is absolutely possible in MeshUp. But we want to make this process even easier for you. So spread the word about the Fuel 3D Kickstarter campaign and help us meet the stretch goal so that we can bring painless, automated registration and stitching to you and your new Fuel 3D scanner.